morning. I'm Lynn, and that's... And welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Well, this morning Arnie had to come to the house to bring, to get cat food, so we brought one of our, the, the little bottle baby from the barn over. Hi, I think you might be a little hungry. Yeah, I think you might be. Yes, our house is like a barn. Hi, you guys. Hi, you're such a lovely little lamb. Yeah. This is a lamb that won't drink off a bottle holder. He wants to be held. Okay, come on, let's take him out. Come on, Bob. So Lynn can eat her breakfast. Oh, I better turn my breakfast off. It's getting my egg McMuffin. These guys are out of hay again. So we'll be feeding them hay shortly. But for now, let's get on with regular chores and see what the day has in store for us. On my way out, I just kicked all the hay over to one side. So immediately they all get up and start to eat. Except for her. So, that gives me the opportunity, while I'm here, to just quickly do a little check. To see if she's just tired, doesn't feel like eating yet, or perhaps she's getting close to lambing. Hi, how you doing? Can we see your udder? Well, she's getting an udder there, but she's, I would guess that she's not close yet. You can just see it in there. But you always have to check. Okay, here we are in with the big guys. They're always such posers. They're out of hay. So we're just gonna feed them their hay before we go for lunch. are just getting dry hay because they're in good condition and aren't working right now plus they get some grain I just ran back to the milk house to get my tripod, some towels, and um, a glove for delivering a lamb. And the time it took me to do that, she's had a lamb. So I thought I was gonna get to show you me delivering a lamb instead of Arnie. But let's go in and have a look at her, see how she's doing. So here she is. She had a little boy, Lammy. She's doing really well. I don't know if she's got another one yet or not. Rachel, how come you didn't have a Lammy yet? You're supposed to be doing this job too, you know. Yeah. Anyway, Arnie's out in the coveralls. He's um, putting some creep feed out and bedding. So I'll go tell him we got a lamb here and we'll set up the jugs and get it, get it in there. 
So he's comfy in his own little house tonight. Hi, Rachel. Hi. You know, you have to you have to hurry up and have a lammy too. It's gonna be summer soon. Yeah. Yes, you haven't you need to get moving too. You can visit this lammy, but you have to have your own. Yeah, you do. Good mommy. So today I broke down. I couldn't take it anymore. This little guy who's been following me around, who should be weaned, but is losing weight. And I saw him eating snow, and I'm just curious that maybe he hasn't figured out that he's supposed to drink out of a drinker. So rather than take a risk, I brought him a bottle over. And he seems very happy about that. So I guess he's gonna stay a bottle baby for a little bit longer. But everybody else in here seems to have figured it out. He's just a little slow on the uptake, I guess. Hi, buddy. You just wanted milk instead of water. Who wants water when you can have milk? that good? There you go. That was yummy. That was just a little treat for you, but you gotta learn to grow up. Okay, you're done, buddy. Good job, sweetheart. This yeah. afternoon we have the Suffolk's out playing in the yard. They're quite interested uh, with the grinder mixer here. But at least they've come out a bit. The things they're interested in shouldn't be things they're interested in. You guys, really. So we got a jug set up. Now I'm gonna get it from this angle. Usually I'm following behind Arnie and the lamb. But we're gonna get a front view this time. I just want to get a picture. Of me? Not you. Get it down with the mommy. Okay, keep going. Hi. Suffers are good mothers. This is the one we've been watching saying that she's got a nice udder. That's a very nice udder. I'm expecting there'll be milk in it because it's uh, really wide, really attached well. Okay, so you know Arnie and his routine. If we have one lamb, at this time of year they tend to have twins. So we're going to give her a little check. Okay, so now we're gonna lay the sheep down <laughs> so, that, so that he can. First thing you do is you put the glove on because we don't want to panic when we have her down. And that, that bowling in the glove doesn't work too good, so we're not gonna do that. 
I thought you liked the blowing the glove. No, it didn't work. Either. It worked last time. Well, I don't have enough air in me. Ah, uh, believe me, you got plenty of air. <laughs> Safety first. Hey, we're gonna do the glove thing, honey. Do you know how we're gonna do this? So grab a little nose, we're gonna push her over a little bit. We're gonna grab a little nose here. And we're gonna just grab her back foot. And she's gonna lay down. Some people would start doing it while she's standing up. But really, if you've had lambs, if you've had a baby, I think most of you would agree that laying down is probably more comfortable. Triplets. Get out of here. How can you know that? You just, she's not big enough for triplets. She's going to have twins. She's got another one. Are you going to tell them what we're doing here? I'm going to go back there and so we can see. <laughs> So we got two legs, and the, the nose is right behind the knees coming, which is what you want. Oh, you're in my way. Whoa. Oh, and they take a breath right away. Sorry, it's really hard to get a picture when someone else is doing it. You okay, buddy? There he is. I don't think he wants to lie upside down any. Is it a boy or a girl? Oh. First one's a boy. Oh, two boys. Two boys. Okay. Usually by the end of the year, it kind of levels out. And oh. we have about 50-50. I've been, we're slightly ahead on use, but it's pretty close. So she only has two, yeah, two which is lambs. which is what we want. Um, I know so many people want to have those triplets and quads and quints, but you know, I know people have seen what happens when you have that many lambs. You end up having a lot of dead lambs, yes. and that's kind of depressing. You can say it already. See, look, see the square nose. Yep. No, none of the pointed noses. We don't scare nose. So we we like to have twins. That's what mums are ideally made for. They have two teeth. It's great for her. Great for the udder. Great for us because we don't have extra work or expense looking after a third or fourth. We have hardly any ever die or are born dead or stillborn or anything like that. Um, so this is why we choose this breed. You guys are great. Just wonderful. So now we're going to get our bucket of warm water. We're going to, we just happened to go to the event this afternoon to pick up some more iodine. So that was lucky. We're going to dip their navels. We're going to tube them. And I'm going to read her to see who she is and who these guys are from. Okay, so right now we're going to tube these lambs, as you know we do all the time, because we're very, very busy, and we want to make sure the lambs get their first dose of colostrum, because it truly does take quite a while for lambs to get up and find the teat and suck, and then actually suck enough. So this way, we give them, we give these lambs about... Um, so that's 60, 60, we give them about 200 mils of colostrum, and that will do them four hours. Oh, come on, come on. And in four hours, they will have found the teat on their own, and will get their second dose of colostrum from mommy. That guy's flopping around a little bit. Normally I would help, but Arnie told me to just film. There we go, one done. You're sprinkling him with milk, Arnie. You only you only two lambs that can hold their heads up and they're healthy, and they just swallow it down right into their stomach. And you plunge it very slowly in. I don't like 
I usually hold them on my knees. I don't, I don't need my pants all wet and going in the house smelling like I come out of a sewer pit. You could come in the house smelling like you were just born. Bad enough, I gotta do my laundry every day. Oh! What? <laughs> Ernie hasn't done a laundry since I met him. Okay, buddy? He says, yeah, but go slower, buddy. We see ya. Yeah. He's just sneezing now because he was just born, so he's just still getting that mucus out of his nose. He's full right now. He can't take any more. There. They're full. Two lambs fed. We don't have to worry about these lambs at all. It'll give mom time to pass her placenta. And she can just lick off the lambs and relax. She's got milk on both sides. Hi, buddy. Oh, we got to dip them. Hi, you guys. Oh, I'll pick them up with the towel. I had the small uh -huh. towels for easy picking up. Where did the little small towel, towel go? Uh -huh. There we go. So they both got dipped now. This girl has really mangled ears, and it looks like the dogs have gotten her more than once, which I don't like. And now I'm going to go um, read her and see who these lambs are actually going to have to read her tomorrow because I just, I didn't think we were going to have a lamb, so I brought my reader into the house. So I'll have to get these guys read tomorrow to find out who the daddy is. <laughs> Here we are feeding, just filling up the creek bin again. The gates are open for the suffix to go out, but these guys are not much of the explorers compared to those little white ones. Oh, I know why. Because Arnie's got um, fresh bedding down here. So they all want to run around and play in that. Okay, I understand that. They love it. The sheep love it when you put down fresh bedding. There's a really hunky ewe lamb. Not the one on the box, but the one that walked away. Right here, we have Lazarus. Not this one in the front, but the one right here. But he had his head up looking at me, but I turned the camera on. So that means now they don't look at you. Hey, buddy. Lazarus. Hey, can we see how you're doing there? Now we can see your face. Yeah. Hi, you guys. You guys are growing pretty chunky. You are. Hi, you look... You still have the big ears. You do. Hi. You were born with big ears and you still have big ears. Yeah. Hi, buddy. He's done well. And he's just feeding them their dinner. You say it's a purebred? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. Yes. I'll I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure. What are you doing? Uh, I'm covering gravel. What are you looking at? <laughs> Yelling there. <laughs> yeah. 
He'll never let you grab him. For sure, like he's staying. Yeah. I'm thinking the small testicle is normal. The big one it, is insane. Yeah. So I don't know what causes that. I don't either, because at first I, I thought he had a small testicle. I think he's got a big testicle. I know, and you wonder if he injured it or something, or because uh, we have the other guy in here. What did we call him? Uh, really big uh, black guy. Lucifer. And uh, his testicles are uneven. I'll make a point with this guy here. Oh! <laughs> it's this guy here. It's this, it's this guy here was at Richmond Fair last fall. He would be called too fleshy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's the biggest one here. I might make this guy into a door prize. I'm not sure yet. How generous are you? You're not that generous, I'm guessing. Huh? Let's see a wide yard. Come on, buddy. Let's see a wide yard. No, no, this way. Come on. Get the show. Extremely wide. The show. No, 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 no. I know the dad is Quincy, and I'm pretty positive um, he's a purebred because we were concerned because his his black has a lot more brown tinge to it than we'd like on a purebred but his other traits far outweigh being a little lighter on the black side so so hey, hey i want to show i want i want to show people something Stop. you're scaring him <laughs> he's he's way over 100 pounds he's got to be Oh, don't let <laughs> don't. Oh, you're scaring. Yeah, you see why this is the shoulder here? Yeah. Which, when we're at the shoulder, the guy says, I like to smooth out the shoulder a little bit. I don't know what that means. But see how wide that shoulder is? And see how wide the rump is? So, would you say I have a big hand? Yeah, he has monster hands. We can't even find gloves that fit him. This, I'm not, no, you're going to look at this. We're going to measure some more in here. I can't even get my hand on that loin. For the width. For the width. And the length, he's a long one too. <laughs> okay, ready? He has a hard time getting through the creep gate. Now he's going to stay here and eat. I'm going to have an Arnie day here, a barbecue for all my followers. And I might, I might offer him as a door prize. Yeah. But I don't know if we're going to have that or not. Oh, here's a nice little one. <laughs> He's a bottle baby. Yeah, that, that, and you know who that is? That's Lazarus, who lost his mom really young. Remember that we didn't know what was wrong with her? Or that she had a twisted gut or something? Can't, can't beat that one. No, but this one is nice that, too. I want to yes. keep Lazarus as and well. Back there, monster one right there in the sand of the pen. So this is Lucifer. He's also a massive ram, and we w were watching him from the beginning. And... Recently, if you can see, his testicles are uneven. One is kind of normal size. I think this one's normal. This one's insane. And one's really, like, really big. Now, now is it fluid, or can you feel the testicle no, in there? No, the, the testicles are there perfectly. It's just but no, does, hard, no hard lumps or anything. But does it feel like fluid, like no, no, swollen? It feels like a big nut. So... Not that I know what a big nut feels like. So... Yeah, um, technically that would make him a call. So what did you what do you guys think? Like this guy, we'll we'll get Arnie to stand him up because this guy's another tank. Really, really nice ram, except for like it's not like he has a small testicle. It's got that he's got one really large one and a. <laughs> did he just expose your testicles? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're not going to show him because he got away. <laughs> I'll go show him. Those aren't new, are they? Okay, there he is over there. It's a real shame about him. There he goes.
He's perfect in every way. Uh, so, I don't know why. Because when he was younger, they seemed even. And now as he's grown, he's definitely grown one way larger. And usually when that happens, one's kind of atrophied. But the other one is actually normal size. And one is just extra large. And I don't know, would a commercial breeder still buy that? Because he's definitely going to breed like that. Uh, it's a tough one. He just topped it up again because he just filled the creek troughs up. So he wanted to make sure when he left it was refilled. You guys are growing so much. God, I just looked in here to check on this ewe before I went in to make supper. And there's three lambs in here. And I thought, oh my God, Arnie checked and he missed a lamb. But one of them has jumped in. You don't belong in here. You've got tags. This is not your pen. My goodness. So I gotta get that one out of here. Usually the mom would be hitting it. I didn't have to put it out. It jumped out by itself. Into the feeder and back into the family pen. <laughs> but I was sure she had triplets. Oh my god. How does that happen? It can happen. You can miss it because there is a lot of room in there, but she only has twins. She's still passing her placenta, but they're up. See right now they're trying to figure out the nursing thing and you see they're both going on the same teeth and that's why we tube because it's a learning curve to learn how to nurse and that first colostrum is really, really important. So, while she's passing her placenta and they're figuring it out, we don't have to worry about them not getting it quickly enough because we know that they've got it. And they'll figure that out really shortly because they're quite motivated. Okay, phew, did not want triplets. Well, on that note, I think that's a good time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed your time at Utopia Farms today, we'd really appreciate it if you sent a comment or gave us a like. And I really hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.